Hello friends, I am Umar Ali and today I will teach you about molecular separation techniques. So, in molecular biology, it is often needed to separate fragments of DNA, RNA and protein. We need to get purified protein from cell extract a specific piece of DNA from DNA chains, separation of DNA from RNA. For, for getting enzyme from cell culture, extraction of biomolecules from different cell culture media, we have to apply molecular separation technique. What are some of the molecular separation techniques we are using? Gel electrophoresis of nucleic acid, gel electrophoresis of proteins, ion exchange chromatography, gel filtration chromatography, and affinity chromatography there are some other i will explain later later in my videos so what is gel electrophoresis of nucleic acids of dna and rna this is dna gel electrophoresis agarose gel with slots are available in the gel there is a removable comb with the teeth downward towards the agarose agarose is formed in the molten form Slots are filled with hot liquid agarose into shallow box. After the agarose gel, it is it, gel comb is removed, uh, leaving rectangular shaped slots. I will show in the figure later. At neutral pH, a little amount of DNA is placed on rectangular slot, slots and electric current is passed. DNA moves toward positive end of the gel anode due to the negative charge of DNA uh, due to the presence of phosphate backbone in the DNA chain. The gel separates DNA of different sizes due to the friction. Okay. The smaller DNA molecules are moved fast due to less opposition of gel and settle down downward or at the end of the gel because they feel very less friction or resistance. On the other hand, DNA molecules with greater molecular weight face difficulty in moving, they tend to appear on the upper side of the gel. So, this is the diag diagrammatic uh, explanation of gel electrophoresis. These are the samples of DNA that are separated. The DNA with the higher molecular weight, they are on upper side of the gel and the lower molecular weight are at lower side of the gel this is uh, also a picture of the gel electrophoresis the smaller molecule are on the upper side the larger molecule sorry is smaller on the downward side and the bigger are upper side of the gel this is a very clear picture you can see <coughs> The DNA is then stained with the fluorescent dye and is visualized in, under the uh, UV. So the DNA molecules are sorted on the basis of size, but the DNA molecules of large sizes are difficult to separate as there will be some false result. So there is a new technique called pulse field gel electrophoresis or shortly PFGE. It is a technique used for the separation of large DNA molecular size. Uh, up to the size of mega bases or hundreds of kilo bases. The electric field applied change its direction periodically. It, it is a relatively time consuming method but it can <coughs> uh, uh, tell us separates the DNA molecule up to the size of the chromosome. So what are the function of buffer in gel electrophoresis? TA buffer, TAE buffer is used in mixture of tris base, acetic acid or EDTA. So T stands for tris base, A stands for acetic acid and E stands for EDTA. Uh, its function is to maintain pH so the gel so that after current is passed it can allow the movement of nucleic acid molecule. So what is PAGE or polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis? It is used for the separation of proteins. Instead of agarose, the gel is used in Page is polyacrylamide cross linker molecule. Protein subunit are treated with detergent, sodium dodecyl sulfate are shortly called as STS. 
so they no longer bind to one another so if we do not apply the detergent the uh, linkage or bond between protein do not break and we cannot sort or separate our protein on the basis of size so detergent breaks the bond between the subunits of protein reducing agent are also added so that the covalent bond between the subunit breaks what are advantages of sds sds makes all the polypeptide linkages as a negative charge so all of them will be moved towards the anode it hides the natural char charges so they have move according to their molecular mass not according to their natural charge so if their natural charge is not mass they move toward anode or cathode so they will not sort it according to their si size and we feel difficulty so we use sts for visualization commissive blue dye is used what is native page most enzyme have to be purified in their native form because if we do not extract them in the native form their catalytic activity will be altered so we have to purify them in their native form the buffer provides non denaturing condition separation is done at lower temperature what is 2d page or two dimensional page a part of protein is electrophoresized in tube gel containing amphloes amphlo amphloides why 2d page is used because it gives better result as compared to the sts page we set up a ph gradient from one end of the tube to the other the negative charge will be settled down towards the anode and reach its isoelectric point so it will st uh, not will not move towards the anode or cathode and stop this is called isoelectric focusing it is then performed a traditional sts page that settle down protein on the basis of their charge that's and from today's lecture kindly like my video share my video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you wanted to get latest updates and my videos thanks